the city playing guitar in the studio Well, he hadn't been there for an hour When he met a Broadway clown You know she took him for his money And she left him in a cheap hotel Hello, Mom and Dad I had to call the letter Cause I ain't got a dime to my name Hey everybody, welcome to MT Guitar. Thanks for joining us. We're doing box number 10 by Jim Croce. Uh, our first Jim Croce song on the channel. Really uh, amazing guitarist, and a lot of his songs are uh, very intricate uh, with different acoustic guitar arrangements that he has. So this is a song that's a little more doable. Uh, I'll even show you a, a sort of a beginner level uh, version where we're not doing as many fills. Uh, for those who are more adventurous, we'll jump into some really cool fills. Um, you know, we have some, some rhythm parts and lead parts kind of able to be combined a little bit. So I recommend checking it out. It's a nice song to work on some nice fills and some nice uh, cross-picking here on the acoustic. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, check out the description below for links to the Patreon and other, other things like that. Other than that, uh, let's jump on in and get started. All right, so we really only have four chords in the entire song, uh, C, G, A minor, F. So if you wanted to get started on the song quickly uh, without a lot of fuss, um, you could you could basically do that with some strumming patterns. So why don't we start there? We'll get the chords under our belt and the timing, and then we can get into some of the fills and the and the uh, more interesting or not interesting, but uh, you know uh, more complicated parts. So if we have a C, we want to play the C with the pinky on the third fret first string, basically every every C. So, uh, we're going to start with sort of a, a basic strumming pattern here. If you think about the bass and treble as being, you know, that's a very important thing when you're strumming is to understand you can hit the bass twice down and then the whole chord or just the treble. So, down, down on the bass, then down on the treble or the whole chord. And then down up on the whole chord. Now a G, uh, we're going to do the G with the pinky. That's partially because we're, we already have it there from the C, right? So this is a really good G to know. Um, beginners are not taught this G where you use your pinky because it's easier to not use your pinky at the beginning. But this is a very useful G, especially a very useful fingering of G, especially in the key of C because then the resolution is basically effortless, right? So we're going to go to that G here. Again, down, 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 up. A minor, same string pattern. F. So the, the beginning here would be. Okay, and then repeat. This time C to G, and then F, C7, G. All right, so that the whole thing nice and slow, I'll call out the chords. C, G, A minor, F, C, G, F, C7, G. And then we start the verse. All right, now um, that can be repeated throughout the entire verse. Uh, so just to practice it, I'll hum the melody so you can hear the verse. And we'll do this bass, bass, you know, bass, bass, down, down, up, bass, bass, down, throughout the entire verse, or through half of the verse, and you'll see how uh, we can practice this uh, progression and strumming pattern throughout the verse. And then we'll get to the chorus, okay? Two, three. Well, out of southern Illinois Came a down home country boy C, G, F C, 
G, C. One more time. Da da D minor to F. Da da C to G. F, C, G. All right, good. Now for the chorus, uh, we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do G and F back and forth for a bit. So uh, we'll just get the form down here, and then we'll get into uh, the more. It, intermediate advanced version of the ver of the intro and verse. So for the chorus, hello mom down same string pattern, bass bass down down up. Okay. F G. You only have time for down down up and then G and then again and then C. So so far, 3 hello G to F to G and an F to G to C. Okay, good. That's the chorus so far. Then we go to A minor. A minor right here for a whole bar. G, F, G, and F, U. So that was A minor for a bar. We'll review the whole thing in a sec. G, F, G. Now we do the walk down. So now it's going to be C, C, and then C over B, where you basically go second fret, fifth string. We're gonna go bass down up for each one, second fret fifth string, and leave everything else the same. A minor seven, just lift that middle finger, put it on the fourth string second fret. Now the G with the pinky. We actually do that three times. So, but if you like this, if you only send me some money, second time, pretty cool, right? Third time. Then it's a quick F, F, G, C. And then it, re it repeats C over B over A minor, G. Now two Fs, G, C. And then you back to the verse. So let's do the whole chorus. Three, hello, G, F to G, and F to G to C. A minor. Here's the G, F. C to walk down B A minor 7 G C over B A minor 7 G Third time B A minor 7 G F G C Last time This is the instrumental part And then F F G C You guys ready for a little more? Alright So now we're going to cover all the fills I covered in the demo Which you can hear in the recording really, really great stuff. Some of them are played actually by uh, the rhythm guitar. Some are played by the second lead guitar. Uh, so let's start with the intro. If you want to be really precise, fifth, third, first, fifth, third, first, or fifth, third, down, down, up. And then for the G, sixth, third, fourth, six, or sixth, third, fourth, strum, fourth fret, open. Now for the F, we're going to want to do the F with the thumb on the 1st fret 6th string. This kind of F. Why? Because we want, to, we want to do fills. We don't want to be... If you do this bar chord, you don't have any... It's harder to do fills, where if you do... You can do more stuff like that. So I recommend this type of F if you're in the intermediate level here. Thumb on the 1st fret 6th string. 3rd finger, 3rd fret 4th string. Middle finger, second fret, third string, index, first fret, sec uh, second string, and you're gonna go sixth, third, fourth. Now third fret, second string, and then back to first. So, like that. Back to the C. Now there's this really cool fill in the intro. Third fret, sixth string, I'll just play it first. So that's going to be 3rd fret, 6th string, and then uh, open 5th string, hammer on the 3rd fret, 1st fret, pull off to open, 4th string, 3rd fret to open, pull off on 5th string, 3rd fret, 6th string, 0 to 3, hammer on. Then a C7, then a G. So the whole intro, nice and slow, three, four. Like 
Yeah. Okay, good. For the for the verse, we have the same progression, but if you want to learn these fills that I did, there's only two fills, but really cool. So well out of Southern Illinois. Really uh, cool fill. And you know it's important when they repeat something in a song, and they do that at the beginning of both the first verse and the second verse. So after you do the C, you go G, but you immediately, it, you can just keep strumming with the G, of course. You know, G, fourth, eighth, that would be a little more tame, but if you want to be slightly adventurous, we can do this. Uh, sorry. So that would be fourth string open, first fret, second fret, open third string, second fret, first fret, second string. Notice how I'm already fingering the A minor. That's the key right there. That's how you play lead guitar while playing rhythm. First finger, second finger, third finger, first finger, second finger. To reiterate, fourth string, O, one, two, third string, O, two, second string, one, and then back to third string. Then you're in the sound for the A minor. And then you do the F with the thumb. And this time all four fingers. One, three, one, three, three, two, one, O. Oh. So, review that. Out of Southern Illinois Down on Country Boy Alright. Pretty nice, right? Now back to the C. Now for the for the F that ends every phrase. I think the rhythm guitar actually does this, so this is a pretty important part here. So C, G, and as soon as we do the F, we go O to two hammer on. Actually, you know what? They pick every note. I'm sorry, no hammer on. O two, oh, you kind of just play the F and then release it. O two, O two. Uh, so that's third string, O, two, O. Two, O, fourth string. Third fret, fifth string. O, one, two, fourth string. Third string open. And then you kind of do down, up, down, up on a G before you get back to the C. So let's play that. Here we go. Let's practice. So that that's... That's the first two phrases. The third phrase, they don't do that fill. So you go fourth fret, sixth string. And this time, the fourth phrase, we will do the F. Okay, then there's actually more phrases. Here's the phrase again. Last time. Then we go to the chorus, which I've already covered. There's nothing really to do on the chorus differently, uh, but we can just review it one more time. Hello, my Same as what I've showed you before. Okay, so you've pretty much got the song. Actually, I'm sorry, there is one thing we can do. Check this out. After all this, that's the third time. Oh, sorry. Right? And then you go, just like I explained before, but then we can do a third fret, sixth string, open, third, open. So third, oh, three, oh, three, then the fill again, the F, F, G, C. 303 and then you'd be back to the next verse the only thing different that happens in, in the entire song is instead of going F F G C to end the song it's only a two minute and 20 two minute and 20 second song but instead of that it just goes uh, F F C so um, hopefully that makes sense you've gotten more of a beginner arrangement if you want to just strum these these chords and play the song and it's kind of fun to throw in these fills so I hope that makes sense. Let me know if there's any questions. Enjoy.
All right, well done, everybody. A nice song to get under our belt and uh, definitely uh, good to finally get into some Jim Croce here. So go ahead and subscribe, hit the thumbs up and the notification bell, and I appreciate your support. We'll see you next lesson. Bye.